So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new application to show you the power of Rails. So I'm going to go cd dot dot cd dot dot, and then I'll go back in there actually, and I'll do Rails new tester. And so we're just creating a new Rails application. This is the pitfall. It's taking like 30 seconds, so that's not good. You know, I only have 10 minutes to show you what Rails can do, and we're just seeing what it can do right now. So we're just installing all these things. Okay, now it's done, and I call that tester. So I'm going to go in there. And we're going to go CD into the tester. Now I'm going to do code dot open up in Visual Studio Code. And then what I'm going to do is create a scaffold. So I'm going to do Rails G scaffold, post, title, and body. Then all I'm going to do is full screen VS Code, then do Rails S, then go into my browser and go to localhost 3000, right? So now I'm at localhost 3000, pen, run pending migrations. And now I need to root to the that page. So I'll go to config roots.rb. And then inside of here, I'll do root post hashtag index and that looks good to me and as you can see now I've got some sort of scaffold working and I can create posts edit this post and that's really cool right now I'll go to simplecss.org and inside of simple CSS I'll boost my CSS very very quickly so where is the hell is this link I'm under pressure now so get started with CSS and then copy this unminified version go to there go there go to app views layouts application the html data arb and then inside here inside the body we're going to add our links to this and okay now we have posts right now we're going to add a nav bar so i'll go here go here and create this number the html .arb. this is called a partial then inside of here at the top i'm going to do render render partial and we're going to say we're going to call this uh, layouts slash nav bar that is the link and uh, layouts if i can actually spell today and layouts navbar and we're going to say h1 this is the navbar baby and then that is the navbar right hopefully that's going to work and as you can see there's the navbar baby now we're going to do the same thing for the footer because why the hell not so underscore footer the html .erb. then copy this bang and then inside here we're going to say footer and then inside application html .erb, we're going to go copy this put it down there below the yield tag and then now we have a footer hopefully so as you can see, now we've got a navbar, footer, and a post scaffold within like, what, two minutes? How, how are we doing? Yeah, two minutes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is add user authentication. So let's go and add user authentication. So go rubygems.org, I'm kind of doing this, I uh, don't really need to do this, but go to device, and then inside of here, we're gonna go to the homepage, and that is this docu documentation of the user authentication gem. So down here, I'll scroll down, scroll down, where, why is it taking so long? And then I'll just bundle add device. So I'm gonna go stop the server, bundle add device, rails journey device install. Um, taking too long my PC is the bottom like true rails generate device install then It's giving me all these steps and I'm just gonna add this one in the environments config environments uh, de uh, Development.rb inside of here we're gonna add that and then we're gonna do rails generate device model, right? So rails generate device user and then while that is happening, we're going to add the uh, We are going to go to uh, what are we gonna do? Ah, that's okay. Don't even. Okay, so I'll start the server again, and then we have some sort of user authentication, right? Run depending migration. Okay, so now I need to link to create a user account, and I'm also going to go to uh, controllers, post controller, and then inside of here we're going to do before action. We're going to say authenticate underscore user, and um, we're going to do only on show edit destroy and update. Right? I spelled destroy wrong. So that is that, and now we have this, and if I try to create a new post, uh, there we should be up, should have to sign in. Why do I have to sign in? Um, okay, so now, oh yeah, new as well. So if I press new, now when I try to create a new post, it asks me to log in. So now I have user authentication, so I'll sign up, and I'll just add flash messages to my application first. So I'm gonna go tier to here, uh, scroll up a little bit, and uh, if I can scroll up enough, uh, right here, right here, as you can see right there. Now I have flash messages and I'll add this just above that. And now I have this, right? Need to sign up or sign in uh, before continuing. So I'll just sign up, password 12356, password 12356. And now I have user authentication, welcome, signed up successfully. So I have scaffolding, user authentication, and it's only been five minutes, right? So rapid prototyping of Rails. Okay.